Hey folks, Cat is here. I'm going to show you how to do a clean installation of the Wings client. So on this computer here, I have the Eden client installed. First, let's remove Eden. Go to Control Panel, go to your Programs and Features, and look for Eden Server. There it is. Hit Uninstall. and let it do its thing. Now that Eden has been removed, we're gonna go ahead and clean up our registry using a free software known as CC Cleaner. Go down to registry, scan for issues. This will only take a couple of seconds. All right, you see here that it found a few things. Hit fix selected issues, and then select no on making a backup. Or select yes, I don't care, you do whatever you want. I select no. Fix all selected issues. And then hit close. And then I like to run the scan one more time, just to make sure. All right, we're all good. All right. Next, we need to download the Wings client. If you go to bot commands in our Wings Discord server, Type in get started. You're gonna get a DM from Carlbot. And Carlbot is gonna tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get started with Wings. Step one is you gotta to go to the website and create an account. Once you do, an email will be sent your way which you need to validate. Click the link inside of that email and then you're good to go. Next, you can go ahead and download the client installer from one of these two links. If the first link doesn't work, please try the second link. If the second link doesn't work, please make sure that you're logged into your Google account. And finally, make sure that you download the casket fix. This is found in Discord by a post from Kalik on October 29th. At the time of this recording, this patch is not included in the client download. So be on the lookout for that. After you've downloaded your FF11 client setup file and your patch fix, they're gonna be in zip form. Now you have to unzip these in order to access the content of these files. You'll need software such as WinRAR or 7-Zip in order to do so. I personally prefer 7-Zip and is what I recommend to anyone who's watching this video. Right click on FF11 client setup, select 7-Zip and hit extract to FF11 client setup. So we finish extracting both our FF11 client setup and our patch for the server. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna open up our FF11 client setup and we're gonna go down to our readme. As you can see here, we have a step-by-step -step guide on what to do from this point on. Now, I've already done all of these things and it's not something that I need to do. But if you don't have FF11 previously installed and it's your first time doing this, make sure you run these items here. Right click on Wing Setup and run as administrator. If you do not do this, this process will not work. So first we need to install Play Online. I'm gonna select, I have, a, I have a drive dedicated just to FF11. I've already created my Play Online folder, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit OK. Again, depending on your read write speed of your storage devices, this could take anywhere from one to two minutes. OK. And it looks like Play Online has now installed. Next, I need to install Final Fantasy XI. Now, if you look at the guide here, it explains that after we run Wing Setup and hit our POL installation, we can then hit it again and click on Install FF11 and confirm overwrite on any and all prompts that appear within that Play Online folder. Folder location, Play Online. Install FF11, yes. 
Our installations have completed. What we need to do now is apply the patch to our installed copy of Final Fantasy XI. I recommend opening up a second window and going to the same file location as where you've installed and extracted your client setup. First, click on Play Online, Square Enix, Final Fantasy XI, and we're going to be targeting this ROM folder. In your other window, open up the patch folder. Inside, you have these files. Highlight, click, and drag over to ROM. Hit replace the files in the destination, and you're all finished applying your patch. We can go ahead and close out this window. Now, let's go ahead and launch Ashita. Click on the Ashita folder and go down to Ashita. We have multiple profiles that we could access. I currently run at a resolution of 2560 by 1440. So I'm gonna delete these other ones just to keep things clean. I'm gonna right click and hit edit configuration. And we can see here that our file and our command line are already targeting the correct locations. Nothing really needs to be done with this at this point. Go down to window. I like to uncheck show border. I think you get a cleaner look. I'm also gonna change my background size to double my max resolution. It's advised that you do everything in a squared format. So 5120 by 5120 for background size, which is double my resolution. Menu size, keep that whatever you'd like. A lot of people like running that at 1080, even if they're running on a 1440p monitor. I'm gonna keep mine. I don't know what I'm doing right now. There we go. And hit save. Ah, wait, there's one more thing we can do. Let's go to game. Let's make our game look a little pretty while we're at it. Go ahead and set your mip, ma mip mapping to best quality. Bump mapping enabled. Your animations to smooth. Your texture compressions to uncompressed. Your map compression to uncompressed. And your font compression to uncompressed. Do not use high quality. It does not look right. Now, I don't think it matters for wings, but I always also disable show opening movie. Hit save. Okay, so as long as you've gone and created an account on the website, you've verified your account through the verification email, you're going to be using that same username and password to log into wings. You can do this automatically by simply adding the following command lines inside the following to your command line. Put a space after the server IP address, dash dash user, space, and then type your username. You do the same thing with your password, dash dash, pass, space, followed by your password. I'm going to go ahead and enter my username and password off screen and hit save, and then I'm going to launch the game. And just like that, we are on Wings. Make sure when you log in, you adjust your stuff. Make sure everything looks correct. I like to make a couple of changes here before I'm really uh, getting going. Well, and just like that, you're all good to go. Well, there you have it. Welcome to Wings. And again, if you have any questions, make sure that you drop a message in our Discord in our installation setup and our technical support channels. And myself or another member of the community will gladly assist you.